Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Also, now we are active with MrPopsit.com. You can get merch to represent your guy. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is another abscess here. You can see when we press on that just a little bit, the pore um, that was where the cyst started, you can see there's some purulent discharge coming out of there. So, um, and he's had many cysts in the past and it, and it is possible, you can see from the side how raised up that is. Um, we're just going to get him numb here, make a little cut and get out hopefully some of the cyst wall and contents and that purulent discharge that's building up, causing pressure and causing it to be red. So we'll get him all set up here and he should feel a lot better once we're done. All right, guys, Mr. Pops it here. We have a common occurrence, which is a cyst that has gotten inflamed, probably burst its wall inside and has now become an inflammatory abscess. Over 50%, around 50% of the time, these have no bacteria. It's just literally an inflammatory response. Um, so we'll get some purulent discharge out here. You can see we've got them all numbed up and ready to go. The light might be shining too much, huh? <laughs> Take an 11 blade here. And this is where there's kind of an opening where the pore of the cyst used to be likely. A little pressure. If you have sting, let me know, okay? Uh-huh. Generally about a centimeter and a half here. Down to that pocket. I can feel, there we go. I was say I could feel the pocket once it bursts through. I like something non-sharp but semi-firm here. There we go. Tapped it, <laughs> as you can see, the second I got into that pocket and opened that up on top, we got kind of a, uh, almost like a milkshake there. So let's get that. And that is what is causing pressure and discomfort. So um, let me put it, get in there again, put some pressure from this side. You can see that's already gone down quite a bit. There we go. As long as he can handle a little bit of pressure here, we should be able to get this pocket cleared out pretty well for him. Uh, any pain there? Uh -uh. Okay, boy, that's a deep pocket. It's almost halfway in there. I mean, no, it could be real tender at the bottom. You can see that is deep. Still okay? Uh -huh. Wow, you're doing great. If you feel anything, let me know. Uh -huh. Oh, that's deep. Going all the way around here. Slowly, gently scraping the bottom of the pocket. We infused it with lidocaine and let it sit for quite a while. Sometimes that helps get in there and get it numb. Trying to break up loculations here. I can feel scar tissue down in there bits of cyst wall. Whew, we're all the way to there. <laughs> That's good. Now we'll do a little pressure here. Let's see if we're going to get some cyst chunks out of there. There's a little bit I see coming out. Right there you can see. Can you use saline? Yeah, we probably will. Probably two, three cc's. Thank you. from all different angles here. It's like getting a back massage. <laughs> okay. Now I may open that just a little bit more. This way right there. Sometimes the cyst He's got really thick skin, so I want to give it an opening for some of the cyst contents to come out. Scrape a little on there. Coming back out, but I don't 
Okay, so little there. Okay, I was gonna say. Any more layer? That's the bottom. No, this is the bottom. It's gonna be tough to get that completely done, but we're getting cis chunks out there now. That's what I wanted. How about here? Anything? Uh -uh. Okay, it's just that one side. It looks like. Can't be too rough there. Yeah, let's try and scrape that a little. There we go. There's chunks in there. That's a pretty good cyst wall chunk right there. And a little bit more. There we go. You can see once we get that purulent discharge out it's kind of yellow greenish and we start scraping that inflamed bottom we start getting some blood and that's how we know we kind of got that inflammatory pocket what was in there scraped a little got some cyst chunks and then we want this to dry up and we're going to do packing to do that i'm going to flush it a little try a q-tip here that's the Q-tips because they're dry. They're a little sticky when they go in. You get that in there and roll it. Nothing in that one, just blood. Kind of roll around the pocket here. See if we can get any cyst wall. There we go. Some cyst particles. Do that a couple times to get the loose bits, and then we flush with saline. Not too painful there? Oh. Good, just cotton. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna try to see what I can pull out there. Another squeeze. Good chunks coming out. There we go, getting some pretty good chunks there you can see poking through. Bits of cyst. The big thing though is now that that, all that, you see how much fluid we got out of there, imagine that being in that pocket, the pressure that was in there. Once we get that out, you know, the pain and all the inflammation starts going down. We'll do a couple here. See if I can get any cyst wall. Thanks, Alma. Okay there? Mm -hmm. Good. I do feel some little loculations, just kind of bits of stuff in there. And the cyst is not one big, you know, egg in there like we usually see. So people will say, why don't you just cut that open and scrape it all out? It's, it's kind of like jelly in there so yeah, there's a pretty good bit of cyst there and it's just a gelatinous mass like this you'll never get it all so you get what comes out easily um, flush to get some of the little particles out and the body will reabsorb some and then you let that heal in and that's the best you can do for these So we got, we did get some additional, which is nice. And you can see this isn't his first rodeo here. He's had multiple cysts, had things drained as well. So excisions and um, incisions and Indies. Drainages. That looks good. I don't think we're going to get many more particles out of there that are large. 
Okay, so we're going to put some saline in here just so it doesn't squirt everywhere. I cover it there. You can see that squirt right out. I'm going to stop. Let's see if we got any loose particles. Nope, not much. Okay, one more. Straight in there. Works right out. Almost back into the syringe there. And I'll press that out. You can see it makes the blood a little lighter because it's mixed with saline. Coming from every angle. It's looking good. One thing I like to do when I'm pressing is kind of open up a little like that and see if we can get bigger chunks to come out. see the little bits of cyst scar tissue around it too. That looks good. Yeah. Keep getting this a little bit. I'm not seeing any big like eggshell. Sometimes we'll see big like pieces of what look like eggshell coming out. I don't think we're gonna get that on this one. Let's scrape down there pretty good. Good. That side. This actually wasn't a huge cyst. I saw it before, it just got inflamed pretty quickly. Okay, here we go, guys. We are going to put some packing in here. We're going to keep in probably for 48 hours. We'll see him back on Wednesday. A little bit down in there. Surprisingly deep pocket, actually, when I first initially went in. This absorbs some of that purulent and just kind of seeping that can be in there. And it's impregnated with an antibacterial. Solution in it. Doing okay? <laughs> Good. Almost done. Nope, no problem. We'll put a pressure bandage and keep on for two days. It'll just kind of absorb any leaking. Okay. That is good. Quite a bit in there. A lot of people ask also, why don't you pack every single one you do? And they actually have done studies to show that packing really doesn't change the outcome. So a lot of people don't even pack anymore. I pack the very large deep ones. So it just, uh, it's, it's, there's a big pocket in there. I think it is beneficial just from what I've seen. So that's good. Leave a little bit of that tag out and they're gonna put a pressure bandage on there. And that was a, Large abscess IND, incision and drainage, something that we commonly do. Made a pretty good opening there, almost two centimeters. Really got in and roughed it up a little bit and got some chunks out, but not significant chunks, but a lot of fluid. Um, and it, gosh, we were down about probably three, almost three and a half inches. So we'll see him back in 48 hours, remove that, and then you should see this whole thing kind of just start to go down and go back to normal for him. So thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have our large abscess on the back, and this is the 48 hour follow-up. So we're gonna take out the packing, a little bit of drainage we expect. There'll be some fluid in here also, probably when we take the packing out, but it doesn't have any pain, which is good, and we should see a lot of that inflammation going down. Now there's a lot of packing in here and you can see it's already starting to heal too. That's why it's good to get it out because in a couple of days you can heal over it sometimes. So, turn off the radio. oh yeah. Okay guys, we can see there's gonna be some fluid in here. We're gonna start pulling this. It's gonna be a little itchy most likely. That's good and we put quite a bit. It was actually raised up around the edges because there's so much in there. And at the bottom, you might feel a little. That's good. I 
we're seeing some yellow serous fluid, which is what we want to see. That's how the body kind of fills, fills in when we have a void or a pocket. There we go. And that cut's already filled in halfway, just didn't grow in about the thickness that the, um, the gauze was, hydroform gauze. We'll do just a little pressure here. Just a little pressure here. Yeah, just air. I'm not seeing much fluid in there at all. And I don't feel much in there either. So that's flattened out, which is nice. A little bit of bruising, which is pretty common because um, we were pushing on it and it was pretty inflamed to begin with. But what we'll do um, is kind of put another pressure bandage on here. This will close up in the next just couple days and his body will reabsorb any additional fluid in there. And then if that cyst comes back and starts to regrow, you can see he's had multiple cysts here. One, two, three, four, five, six that have been removed and then the one on the shoulder. So um, yeah, this should be the end of this for him and he's gonna feel a lot better a year or two down the road if this cyst starts to reform, um, we'll do an excision, okay? So thanks for popping by. That's the end of that little abscess. And uh, I think he's going to be sleeping a lot better tonight. <laughs> there.